Hey everybody, Quante95 here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby Superstar. And there's something unique about this level, Sky High. When you start the level, it's like the music syncs up with what Kirby's doing. And then the intro to the music just ends when he hits a star on the ground. I thought that was kind of weird. They just synced the music to whatever Kirby was doing. But I will probably be doing these two levels good anyway, because I actually practiced before I recorded. Which actually is significantly better, because, well, I actually know what's to come. Because actually doing this LP helped me realize that I haven't played this game in about a good two or three years. Even though I thought I knew this game like the back of my hand. But, yeah, not really. Still remember what quite a few things are, but... Other than that, I'm still I'm like a three-year-old child when it comes to playing this game. I haven't played it in quite a while. But I practiced, and that's actually going to be a very effective thing, because I actually found out where some of the um, copy abilities were. So yeah, that see, if I would have just done this semi-blind like I've been doing the entire LP, that probably would have been a disaster, but who cares, who cares. And they always have like these sort of puzzle-like sections in this game, or this sub-game. They always have to throw some sort of puzzle at you for some reason. Like, I don't know, that's like the, the big thing with the Milky Way Wishes. They always have to throw some sort of puzzle at you in the middle of the level. It's just when you're getting into it. There is a particular path you can take with these doors that actually leads you to the wing ability. If I can just remember what the heck it is. You can, this mini boss, you can just skip entirely by going in a different door. I thought that was hilarious. Okay, this is where you get the wing ability. Alright. I actually thought I was gonna miss this, because I got this off a practice run. I didn't think I was gonna remember where to get it, but I got it. But, it's not like I was gonna lose any sleep at night anyway, not getting it, of course, because I said I wasn't gonna be getting all the power-ups in this anyway. Maybe. I'm still debating on whether I should or not, but I found a good bit of them, at least. I'm sure there's some I've missed. I'm pretty sure there's some I've missed, but I found all the ones where I know they are, so. And it's pretty weird that I have invincibility, but it's not helping kill this boss at all. He's still gonna go down fairly easy anyway. Or not! Let's get something. I'll, I'll, I'll just do fighter. To those uppercut kicks should do it, or I can just do this. Equally as effective. See, that wasn't so bad, and it was really short. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna practice these before I do them. Just so at least the last bit of the LP can be good. This whole thing has been a disaster anyway. And this music is bringing back horrible memories, I tell ya. And this... Some of the, like, ways you can get power-ups in this, or copy abilities, it's really weird. Because you have to go about the, um... The environment in a weird way. You'll be seeing it in just about a few minutes. Gosh, I'm already failing. But what you want to do is actually... <laughs> uh, stop hitting the fire. Jeez. Why did I take all that time to get the sword ability? But anyway, you want to hit that bomb block, and then you'll be incapable of doing anything like going back. But there's actually like a little invincibility lollipop here. I don't know what they're called. And if you get it can run back down here and actually go through this lava and come up here. I didn't use any walkthroughs to find that or anything, I just found that by accident one day when playing Kirby Superstar Ultra on my DS. I was like, whoa! Like, just a random copy ability that's just right here in the blue. It's just really random. And, and I, t I don't know. I wonder how many other people actually found that without using any walkthroughs or anything, because I know I didn't, and that was just... I don't even remember why I was going back down there when I had the super ability. I just decided I was going to go back down there and miraculously found that copy ability. 
But I don't know how they expect you to find that otherwise. Just, they wouldn't think, Oh, I have the super ability! Well, I'm gonna be able to go through the lava! And... Uh, <laughs> I, I just... I don't get it. I don't know, I guess they had high expectations for you by the, this time of the game, I guess. Or since you're at the middle, the end of the game, I can't even speak. <laughs> what you want to do right here, you can actually look and see that there's breakable blocks. The best way to go about this is using the up and Y thing on the um, fighter ability, and you'll be able to break through there pretty easily. And you'll fight Bugsy. Hey, hey, Bugsy. Yeah, if you defeat Bugsy, you actually get a different copy ability in here. The suplex ability, of course. So it's like we just came in here just to switch bandanas. Oh boy! We switched bandanas! Oh boy! Uh, I'm already failing. Who cares? They, they give you plenty of health in this level anyway, so there's no reason to be complaining. They just set health at just about anywhere. And if I actually would have gotten through that without the wall building up, I would have gotten a life and a maximum tomato. But it's not like we need those at this point anyway. Because I'm going to try to do better. Aw, oh, I thought I was going to actually get through that without that happening. Oh well, this level's almost over anyway. It's just actually, I was wrong. Some of the levels in this are actually pretty short. If you know what to do on, like, since I said every level has like a little puzzling aspect to it, if you know how to get around the puzzles, each of the levels are actually pretty short. Even though there's still a good bit of them, but regardless, if you know how to get through the puzzles, like this is the puzzle thing of this level, you're gonna be shooting through these cannons. If you know the exact way to get through these cannons, this doesn't take long at all, and you won't get lost in, like, an everlasting maze of being shot through cannon from cannon and all that crap. But see, we're done with the level. Or not just yet. We have to fight this guy. I'll just use your sword again. Yeah, I shouldn't die to this guy, because I have full health yet again. If I die, I'm going to be pretty mad. <laughs> okay, got my skills back. Oosh! Yes! So that wasn't so bad after all. Maybe practice does have its benefits. Even in a Kirby game. Wow, I can't believe how fast this episode went but like went by. But regardless, we're gonna be doing these two levels next. This mechanical looking one and the moon. Even though it's clearly fighting over here. But anyway, I'll see you in the next episode of Kirby Superstar, where we will be tackling those two levels. This has been Plante95.